It's like being in prison. I can't do anything. You know, I don't have control of my life anymore. Passionate pleas in the Jackson County Legislature meeting this morning. Y'all need to take care of all this. I'm okay. asking. Okay, we need to move on. With some of the last remaining residents of the Hart Mobile Home Village asking for help. The only thing I ask for from you guys is just uh, please have mercy. Zoila Guzman has lived there for nearly 18 years and says her disability and limited funding from the county has made finding a new home nearly impossible. They promised to us they will relocate us and I'm still there. I mean, I, I don't need to say a lot. I'm, I'm still there. Guzman hasn't been threatened with eviction yet, but Urban Schaefer has. Everybody else is in the same position I'm in. A lot of them can't find place to live. Even though he moved in January, his two sons are still there, and his name is on the lease. We're going to be aggressive in trying to make sure that that project stays on schedule. County Administrator Troy Schulte says the majority of those 106 homes that were once here have worked with the county to move, but a few remaining have not. That's why we've kind of had to take some more uh, harsher proceedings against some of the ones that have violated the rules or agreements or didn't make contact with us.